Hey guys, welcome back. This is going to be the first video of a two-part series where we're going to disassemble and then reassemble an Arturus AK. Now a lot of the Arturus AKs, their construction are pretty similar despite being somewhat different on the outside. So this video will pertain to most Arturus AKs where you can generally take them apart pretty well despite minor differences. Obviously this is the AK-06 and this is going to be our platform for disassembly and reassembly for these two videos. So let's take the Arcturus AK-06 to the tech table inside and disassemble it. The first thing I would do is remove your top cover. It's really simple. This is kind of a standard thing on AKs and obviously this is the battery compartment. So press your button in, lift your top cover off. It can be a little tricky for especially this particular one for me was uh, it was very tight and I actually had to uh, change some of the dimensions of the metal around here to get it to come off and on much more easily. There is sort of an arbitrary list of things for most airsoft guns that you have to do to disassemble them. Uh, this one, I'm going to take the front off, essentially disassemble it around the barrel, and then move to the back. You can do it in any order you like. It's not a specific order that you have to follow to some extent. So the first thing you're going to do is take the rail system off. Thankfully, this is one of the easiest rail systems I've ever worked on. It's literally two screws and the entire thing comes right off. So there are two Allen key screws. I'm just gonna leave those in because actually this top rail section just literally lifts off. So those are out. That's gonna lift off. You got your two screws in there that are currently captured and they'll fall out if you turn it over, obviously. Your bottom section of your rail, I'm just gonna move this forward and drop it out because my suppressor, that's the only way to do it. So the entire thing comes off just that easily. Now we've got our barrel exposed. Like I said, every AK is going to be a little bit different. Of course, this one having a slightly shorter rail, some things are going to be different here too. Uh, you can, if you want, tap this top rail off. It's this pin right here, but you don't necessarily have to do it. It's not completely required. Next, I'm going to take out the spring assembly that holds the fake bolt in, and then of course take the fake bolt out. Back here, you press this in, and this is the button you press in to take your top cover off. I'm going to push, push that forward and it's just going to pop out really simply. So we can extract that and set it aside. Now take your safety off safe because it's going to prevent your fake bolt from coming out. Now at this point, my fake bolt here is free to move. I'm going to push it all the way back and it might come flying out because there is a little bit of pressure here. All the way back and it lifts straight up out of the channel that it sits in. At this point, there are two pins you do have to punch out. Now, keep in mind you're punching them in a particular direction, otherwise they're gonna be insanely difficult, if not somewhat damaging, to get out. So, it's this pin and this pin right here. I'm gonna push this one out here first. Now, well, you wanna look on both sides and see which end has the ribbing. It's horizontal ribbing that put, uh, goes straight out from the pin. And I know which side it is, because I pushed this out last time. So I'm gonna punch it out from the opposite side. I strongly recommend a punch and a hammer. If you're trying to do like an Allen key or something, these are insanely tight pins and an Allen key is just not gonna do it. So use the right tools for the right job. Once that pins out, we can actually pull the gas block forward. And that exposes a couple of screws up top here. We're gonna go ahead and unscrew those. They generally are pretty tight, so keep that in mind. With those loose, you don't want those grub screws out. They're rather easy to lose, so keep that in mind as well. And then you can go ahead and punch out this pin as well. This particular pin is actually really simple to punch out. It's not terribly tight. And at this point, I can just pull it right out. At this point, your outer barrel is going to completely slide off of your inner barrel. Now your inner barrel and hop up are still going to be fixed. There's a small plastic block here, which essentially keeps the hop up against the gearbox, as well as a pretty hefty spring on the inner barrel. I just took a flat head and removed that plastic block. Getting it in is honestly not 100% necessary, but it is kind of a bridge between here and here for the battery, and it is an extra stop gap if you want to keep your hop up against the gearbox. There is also this massive spring which keeps it against the gearbox as it is, so it's kind of a redundancy. Next, I flip the gun over here. There's a little block here which actually helps with feeding your magazine in really easily, and a little Allen key screw, so I'm going to remove that really quickly. From there, I took a small uh, screwdriver and popped that out from the other side. And you kind of have to wiggle it out of the, uh, the magazine well, kind of in this specific way. It's a little tricky, but once it's out, it's not too tough. And getting it back in is much easier. Now we can remove our two screws here that hold the hop up into a plastic block inside of the body. 
honestly, these are a little bit of a pain to get out. Sometimes I have to use an Allen or a, uh, not an Allen key, but needle nose pliers to uh, pull them out. And thankfully, my screwdriver is magnetized, so they just come right out like that. All right, now I can push the hop up forward. And you see my big spring fell back there. And now I can just pull it out like that. And retain your spring, of course, too. There's a plastic block here. Uh, it can slide out once we have the gearbox out, but I strongly recommend just leaving it there. There's really no reason to take that out as well. Now we get to get the selector out and then the uh, pistol grip, and then we can take the gearbox out, so not too complicated. If you'll notice, there's this little cap here, and it's actually plastic. I didn't realize this till just recently. So I'm gonna take a flathead here. It may take a little bit of work, but it comes out pretty easily. And under there is a little Allen key screw. So I'm gonna take an Allen key, I can find the right size there. Then I'm just going to remove the selector. There's a plastic cap on the bottom of the pistol grip. It can be a little tricky to get out. Just use a flathead and pop it right out. Under there is an Allen key. And let's see if I can find the right Allen key size. There we go. And I don't have mine screwed in too much because too much pressure actually kind of throws the angle of the motor off. It can make your gun sound really, really bad despite how well it's shimmed and motor hide adjusted. So once that is off, this part is a little weird. There's a lot of pressure keeping this pistol grip on, so I'm just gonna really lightly kind of jiggle it until it slowly comes off. You may need some flathead screwdriver assistance to get this off. And once it's uh, loose enough, it'll just slide right off. Once that's out, our gearbox can simply slide right out. Now I've got the right side up so that our gear train for our selector doesn't just fall out. And just slide it out really slowly. You don't want to crimp any wiring. And now our gearbox has been removed. All right, we've got our main two components out that most of you probably want to get to, the hop-up and the gearbox. Now in the next part of this video, the second part of this two video series, I'm going to be reassembling the gun from this point. I'm not going to show you guys how to disassemble the gearbox. Currently there's a lot of videos out there to do that. I'll probably make a gearbox and hop-up video for this in the mildly near future, so possibly keep an eye out for that as well. I'll see you guys in the next part of this two video series.